You must have seen a local substation that supplies electrical power to your home or power to road lighting columns of your local area. But do you know what is a substation, and how does a substation work? What is substation? The substation is used to transmit the voltage low to high or high to low, and then distribute it to the power centers. The electric power needs to transmit to a great distance, therefore, it is transmitted with a high voltage and low current level to minimize transmission losses. Substation comes with various supporting devices such as fuses, circuit breakers, etc. to protect and distribute the power in the most efficient way. Substations are normally placed in an open environment within a closed fence compound. Function of substation. Stepping up and down the voltage. As stated above substations are used to step up the voltage and lower down the current for transmission first, then the voltage is stepped down for distribution to deliver the current to the households and business units. Switching. Switches are provided to disconnect the network and slash or feeder circuit from the main power system. The disconnection process takes place to isolate the associated equipment of the substation from the network. It is required when there is a high demand and switching of voltage would potentially be a dangerous task. Power cuts. In case of huge power demand substation, power network and associate equipments would face significant overloading. As a result, power cut takes place to protect the network. Protection system. It works as a protection system with the help of fuses and circuit breakers. It helps to protect power supply equipments against peak demand and short circuit situations. Types of substation. Following are the key types of substations. Transmission substations. Distribution substations. Transmission substations. Transmission substation caters to high voltage transmission lines and transmits the power to delivery points in bulk. The substation also comes with capacitors to control the high voltage and voltage fluctuation. Circuit breakers and fuses are used to isolate the power network in case of heavy power loading. Transmission substations generally connect to multiple parallel networks, called transmission grid to generate high-volume power systems and transmit to various end-user source points through dispersal centers. Transmission substations are further classified into two categories. Dual Source Transmission Substation Single Source Transmission Substation Dual Source Transmission Substation In the case of Dual Source Transmission Substation, fault in the power network doesn't impact the transmission. This means the alternate source takes control of the transmission process, and the primary source gets to recovery mode. When both sources work together, they can supply the power to multiple destinations. Single Source Transmission Substation in the case of single source transmission substation, fault in the power network does impact the transmission, as a result it temporarily stops the transmission. That's why single source transmission substations are less dependable, and so they are not recommended where bulk power transmission is required. Distribution substations. Distribution substations are used to hand over power from the transmission system to the diffusion system. These substation controls the voltage to carry forward the power to the transformers and then to the end users. It is also equipped with circuit breakers and fuses to isolate the network in case of any overloading or technical failure. Distribution substation functions with the voltage ranging from 0.4 kV to 11 kV and distribute power to the end users such as residential units and business or industrial units. Traction power substation for railway or PUA. Traction power substation takes alternate current, AC current from the service providers and converts it to direct current, DC current to use it for railway or PUA as a power source. The location of the traction power substation depends on the geometric layout of the PUA network and surrounding topographical constraints. The demand for power supply in peak hours, PUA longitudinal gradient, and speed of PUA are key parameters to determine the location of the substation. Distribution Network Operators, DINOs for Road Lighting and Traffic Signals Road lightings and traffic signals are connected to local distribution network operators, DINOs that takes power from the substation transmission system. All road lightings, traffic signal systems are connected with the DINO and controlled by a remote controlled center to effectively manage and execute the power supply. Generally, the power supply of to the road lightings columns, signals, etc. are unmetered because it would not be financially viable to connect each lighting and signal column to a meter therefore a separate mechanism is used to calculate the power usage. Substation Apparatus 
following are key substation apparatus that are commonly used to transmit, distribute, control, and regulate power systems. Transformer. Isolators. Circuit breaker or fuses. Switches. Earthing systems. Bus bars. I hope this video provides you with a deep insight of substation, its purpose, and its functioning. Please feel free to like, share, and comment.